One of the names that comes to mind is Matt Gaines. Uh, he won the non-pro fraternity one of the first times I was in the building. And I wasn't announcing at the time. And he's just, just a kid. Uh, and, he's, and he's still just a kid really now. Uh, but he had, he had a really good non-pro winning run that night at the fraternity. And he has developed into such a show person. And at that time he had that horse in the fraternity that year. Uh, in that non-pro division. I didn't know that he had trained it himself or if his dad had trained it Dick. Um, but he, I've been to his place a number of times and, and he can train a horse and he can darn sure show a horse. That's why he's one of the top, the top riders. I mean, number two I think he is right now in money earning. Growing up, I mean, I had the, the opportunity to, to spend time around some of the greatest horsemen in, in our business, you know, I mean, my dad, you know, I worked with him a lot. He's, you know, he was, still is, one of the, one of the best at really making a horse think, getting a horse smart. And, you know, I learned a lot from him. I got to spend some time with Shorty Freeman and, you know, learned a lot from him. Uh, you know, gosh, you know, those are people I got to spend a lot of time with, you know, Later on, like after I started training, of course, I spent a lot of time working with Paul and Winston and learned a lot from them about, you know, getting the horses more broke, getting things a little more refined. And, you know, I think it was putting that with what I'd learned growing up so much about, you know, the mental side of it, making a horse think and putting those together. I think that really, that really helped me escalate my game. You know, I mean, it, it, when I kind of figured out how to bring those two together, I felt like my horses, you know, immediately started getting better.